simple clue that I won't just try I want something that's gonna last I wanna live and forget the past I know this change is gonna do me good <laughs> This change is gonna do me good Even though it hurts me now I know this change is do me you know what the wind will blow. You got a clue to let me know. Don't hold me back now. Pick me up that high. Hold me something really good. Live your dreams, you know you can. I know this change is gonna do me good. I know this change is gonna do me good. Even though it hurts me tonight, I know the change is in me. The change is in its own way. I'm feeling better to be Aloha. Good evening. This is Andrew Aloha live out of Flagstaff, Arizona, the Spiritual Homes Productions on Block Talk Radio and FreeConferencing.com and now Houston. Establishing and maintaining right relationships for the human body. Hello and welcome to tonight's Golden Age Psychic Travel Show. Tonight we're talking with Kathy Houghton all the way out of New York. Aloha, Kathy. Aloha, Andrew. Aloha and thank you for being here. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Healing and Learning Center and Metaphysical Gift Shop that she's owner of. In um, Now, what, what's, what's the name of that city that you're in in New York? It's in Elmira, New York. Elmira. That sounds like Elvira, but that's the other one. Okay, fine. A little, little bit. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, owner Kathy um, uh, Houghton's mission for the Healing and Learning Center and Metaphysical Gift Shop is to bring lifelong health solutions to the consumer. They believe uh, in providing spiritual healing of the body, mind, and spirit through hands-on healing and, and um, uh, most, com mo most commonly known as Reiki, life coaching, meditation, and uplifting messages. They promote all natural methods that are chemical-free, GMO-free, and not tested on animals and allow the consumer to take responsibility for his or her own health. Their uh, staff is comprised of students, volunteers, and self-employed practitioners who are free to build and expand their own skills in an environment which is nurturing to all. It is their hope that all, all who visit the Healing and Learning Center will leave with peace and joy in their heart. Owner of the uh, uh, Healing and Learning Center and Metaphysical Gift Shop, Kathy um, Pavata Houghton, hopes that you will experience the love, peace, and joy that comes from attending a classes or receiving a healing or getting a reading at the center. Reiki is the foundation for her healing. She, is also, she also attends the spiritual uh, insight training at Fellowships of the Spirit, uh, Lily Dell, New York, while continuing with her education with classes in breathing, shamanic work, 
yoga and intuitive development. For more on the Healing and Learning Center and Metaphys Metaphysical Gift Shop with owner Kathy Pilata, Holy RMT, you can go to the Healing, uh, excuse me, you can go to Healing Le Learning Center dot com. So anyhow, and we are, we're going to talk with more, uh, with Kathy and, and then I'll also at the very end of this, uh, show, we're going to be doing a reading, an astrological reading on her and the company, uh, as well. You know, I do want to give a big aloha to all of our underwriters who help make this show happen from week to week, month to month, year to year, beginning with MahaDikini.com. MahaDikini Lorraine's life has been a personal journey exploring sexuality and spirituality for over 20 years. She's a certified tantra counselor and tantra healer and a certified mind sound teacher. MahaDikini Lorraine is also a graduate of Margot Nong, year-long sky dancing, tantra facility training program, and a current member of the American Association a sex educators counseling therapist club. Uh, and she's also a member of the charter, uh, she's also a charter member of the Association of Sexual Energy Professionals. She regularly attends trainings and conferences to keep current with the latest information and research on the sexual education. And then we have the 90 Day Ascension Journey at www.90dayascensionjourney.com. When you sign up for the 90 Day Ascension Journey, you will be facilitated with defining and redefining your soul to life purpose. You will be assisted with finding out what ascension means to you on this journey. You will be provided with tools, techniques, and assistance to empower you to connect and reconnect with yourself and your emotions and feelings and your mind, body, and spirit. Through a universal soul center process, you will be going through a lifelong transformation that will allow you to move forward with your endeavors and never look back if you dare. And then finally, we do have the Chiron Sheon at www.zechiron.com. The Chiron Shion teaches you how to co-create heaven on earth, how to become empowered to co-create heaven on, in, in your life, how to master the law of attraction to make your dreams come true, and learn tips on how to focus your energy and attention in a consistent, persistent way so you can be healthy, wealthy, and happy. Ask questions, find out the secrets of the universe, find out how easy creating heaven on earth is in your life. The Chiron is an emissary of love and light, completely dedicated to the awakening of humanity to their full mastery and co-creation of heaven on earth. Now, if you miss some of this, uh, or you want to just go back over any of this, you can go to spiritualimageproductions.com, spiritualimageproductions.com. On the right-hand side, there's a place to sign up for the email list. And, um, if you want to keep abreast of everything that's happening with Andrew, Aloha, myself, and I, and Spiritual Image Productions, you can sign up for the SIPS Divine email list and, uh, and then go from there. And then on the left-hand side, there's a link, literally a link, uh, that says uh, the Golden Age Psychic Travel Show. You can click on that GIF that will take you to the page where I'm at right now. And again, you can go over all the rest of the, uh, all the information that's here about Kathy uh, Houghton and the, the Healing and Learning Center. And then also about our underwriting and our other stuff as well. So again, uh, thank you for being here, Kathy. I appreciate that. I know, I know it's past your bedtime because it's really, really late over there, isn't it, right now? Yes, yeah, it's nine o'clock. I'm still up though. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. <laughs> so, so anyhow, um, so just um, and, and we were talking because I I know you you have uh, uh, I met some of your other um uh people that work there or do stuff there, but um um I I, I said well why don't we bring you on the show and and then we can check out some of the stuff that you you you're doing and so just if you want to just kind of give us a little bit about background about who Kathy. Provide a hope in is where she's born, how she's raised, and how she got into this business, and then we'll go from there. How's that? Okay, yeah, I can start there. Um, I actually was born in Pennsylvania, lived there until I was in my 20s, came to New York, and my husband raised a family here. Elmira is a small town, it's right on the Pennsylvania New York border. I probably five minutes away from Pennsylvania, so that's kind of where I am. And uh, when I was 49 years old, um, I got really sick. Um, I had a lot of joint pain. I was told I had rheumatoid arthritis. I had very high cholesterol. And I was getting sicker and sicker and sicker. My liver started to fail. 49 years old, my liver started to fail. So, you know, I'm like, look, I'm going to stop taking medicine. You know, because they all cause liver failure. Everything I was on, I had not taken this death drug. And uh, so I stopped taking them. And um, and I'm still sicker because now all my symptoms that they were stopping came up. 
So I found a Reiki healer, which ended up being my teacher. And I started, you know, getting Reiki sessions and I started feeling better. I found a holistic doctor that found out that I was actually allergic to wheat as well as some other foods. And once I got my diet under control, I did Reiki every day because I, I did some Reiki classes so I could learn how to do it for myself. Um, and I also started taking really good supplements. Um, my health totally turned around. Um, my liver is working normally. Um, I don't have any of the symptoms of any of the illnesses that they thought I had. Uh, all along, it was never these foods. So, um, so with doing the energy work, eating right and healthy, and then taking good supplements, I have learned to take charge of my own health. So what I really would like to do is teach other people how to take charge of their own health. Not that I don't want people to go to doctor, but I want them to be able to make decisions for themselves and help themselves. So I would say at our center, 90% of the people who come through my door have some kind of a diet issue. They're either allergic to something or they they think they might be allergic to something and, and just don't know how to go about helping themselves. So we have great classes so that they can learn how to heal themselves with energy. We will do some coaching on how to shop how to meal plan for whatever they need. Um, I have Marietta White that works there. She does spiritual reading, and she also does classes to teach people that they can also do this. They can learn to develop their intuition. Yeah, Marietta has been on our shows, and um, I think I yeah, interviewed her has. Some too as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And we have brought in, in the last year, Anolia Fodi. She is doing a lot of shamanic work for us. We have made um, Native American drums. We will be making rattles in the near future. Then not only does she teach us how to do these things, but that she also is teaching us how to do drum healing. So we can do healing in our center now. We can do Reiki. We can do crystal Reiki. We can do sound healing, we do drum healing, um, we, we can just do straight Reiki. So we're, we're evolving. So now, so now one of the things that you can do with us uh, uh, is when I do these shows, I, I always pretend that you know people are literally from another galaxy or another planet and they don't know what the heck what the word Reiki means or whatever. So if you kind of give, give us a little bit of an overview of what some of these things are that you're talking about. Sure. Reiki is, Reiki looks very much like hands-on healing. So um, it, it really is an energetic exchange between the healer and the client. And with mindful visualization on the part of the healer. Um, so it's it, it's really just energy for the soul, food for the soul, I guess. Got it, got it. So um, and and then we can do you know we the crystals help magnify the healing, the, the drum helps magnify it. Sound healing um, will align chakras, and you know the, just the sound alone is very soothing. So, so now, okay, so let's take a step back. And um, you said that you had these, these, um, these illnesses, if you want to call it that, um, coming through. And so what was it like to, you know, I mean, what, I mean what, what, how, describe the, the, the transition process, the healing process that took place and over a period of time. And um, and then how it felt for you afterwards and before and then and in between and so forth. Okay. Well, when this first started happening, I started getting pains in my joints. Like first first pain I noticed was like in my wrist when I would go to open like a coffee can. I couldn't do it, and the pain just got worse and worse. Now I was on um, 
certain drugs that they tell you if you have joint pain or muscle pain to let your doctors know. And, and I did that when it got really, really bad. And um, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Um, it, it had progressed so far that I saw a um, orthopedic specialist, and I had him do x-rays of my knee, and um, he said I had no arthritis. I had no arthritis. So I didn't know what, what I didn't know where to go from there. And so that's when I sought out other help. And I'm like, there has got to be something causing this pain. So I was trying to figure out if I was, you know, eating too much of something that I shouldn't be eating. And, and so I was trying to do elimination on my own. Then, and I, and I talked to everybody, I told everybody my symptoms, and, and the one thing that kept cropping up was, you need to have Reiki, and I'm like, what is Reiki? So, you know, I Googled it, and, you know, learned a little bit about it, I found a master teacher in our area, and she started seeing me, actually she called me the day that they wanted to cut me open into a biopsy, and I told them no. Um... I, I saw her three times. I felt better each time. Now, when I say I felt better, I my symptoms that I was having was not only joint pain, but I was also having really bad acid reflux, and and I, I had diarrhea constantly. I was just I was a very very sick young woman, and the symptoms started to quiet down. They didn't go away, but they started to quiet down. And after my third session, I learned that I could learn how to do this. So I took a Reiki 1 class from my teacher. Now, we're probably talking three months into this now. And I still have all the same problems. They're just not as bad. Um, that's when I found a new doctor. She found out what food I was allergic to. I, I was trying to do it on my own. I wasn't having a whole lot of success. Um, once I stopped eating the bad foods, then the, um, the acid reflux and the diarrhea really went away. Then I was left with the joint pain. So I had this ice woman for probably six months, kept doing Reiki every day. And so this whole process probably took a year. So now I, I, I made it to 50. Woo! I was very excited about that. And um, at 50, I actually took my Reiki 2 class, um, so that left me be a practitioner. Um, and, but it probably took one full year before the pain went away. Um, and today, I am pain-free. I take no pharmaceutical medicines. I do take um, quite a few supplements, so I do Reiki, self-Reiki, every day. And, and I don't eat the bad food. You know, I'm, I'm real careful about eating organic food. I eat as natural as I can. I eat as raw as I can. Um, and, and as long as I keep doing those three things, I keep myself very healthy. Got it, got it. And so, um, so, and so that's good. That, and, 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 um, uh, and how long of a period of time did, did, did this trans, transpire for after? Well, once, once I learned what foods I shouldn't be eating, it was a whole year it took. Um, and I kept really close to my diet for three and a half years until I started introducing foods that the doctors actually said I was allergic to. And my body had healed itself enough that I was able to eat some of the foods that weren't really strong allergies. The one food that I cannot eat at all is wheat. I can't even go into a pizza shop and breathe in the flour. I get violently ill, like within 20 minutes. Wow. Um, I have to watch for cross-contamination. My allergy is quite severe. Wow. So, I'm, so I'm very, very careful. And I, I'll tell you, and I'd like to tell the whole audience, that this whole first year that I'm talking about, I cried a lot. I didn't know how to eat. I didn't know how to cook. Um, it changed my whole life, and 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 I. It took me it took me three hours to grocery shop instead of a half an hour because I had to read everything and I had to learn different words that were hidden that meant wheat but they don't say wheat like triticale that that means wheat like who who would know 
Um, so I had to do a lot of education, and, and back then there wasn't as much out there as there is today. People today are much, um, it's much easier, and and I'm I'm at the center. I I guide people all the time in not not what to do with their bodies, but how to shop, how to prepare food, and these are all things that people help me with throughout the time. So I, this is a payback that what was given to me. Got it, got it. So now, um, let me ask you, in, in this process, um, were you doing something else, like another type of job, or, or like working, you know, some kind of other industry or something like that, prior to? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, I was, I was an office manager. I had a pretty high pressure job, um, and, and I, I kept doing it. But I tell you, I was a mean lady. I was, when I was in pain, I was, I was I was mean. The people that know me today don't even recognize me as that same person. <laughs> so so not only you know did my physical change, but my emotional and my spiritual being changed as well. So that's why you know this is it is body, mind, and spirit. It's not just one piece. It is the whole. Got it. Got it. So interesting. And so um and how long did you work in in that industry doing what you were doing? I was an office manager for 22 years. Wow. Um, and, 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 and I, I go ahead. It, well, and then I left that job, and I actually went back to an office job again before I opened the Healing and Learning Center. So the Healing and Learning Center has only been open for, oh, about, let's see, about 16 months now. So we're, we're a pretty new company. We are the only place like it where in our location. Um, so I'm and very fortunate. And the building that we purchased was a whole grain food store before. So the building itself has wonderful, beautiful energy. Nice, nice. Um, and and so um, so when you opened up the the healing and learning center, what were your intentions behind opening up? Really, just to have a place where people could come and they could they could not only get healing, but they could learn. They could learn how to heal themselves. That is a very important part of what I do. I don't just, I mean, I could just do Reiki, I could just do healing on people, but I want to teach people how to take charge for themselves. Um, I I actually don't ever charge people for consultations when I help them do cooking and meal planning and things like that. You know, if I have the time, they have my time. You know, I take care of them. Um, but I teach them Reiki, um, I, and then I bring I bring other people in that know other modalities. So like like Marietta and Enolia. Um, I have another girl Renee that comes in. So. We gather together, and, and if somebody needs something that none of us know, I go out and find them, you know, and I'll bring other people in. Um, we have a girl that is coming in, and we do belly dancing. I mean, it's, it's beautiful for women to gather together in groups and, and dance for each other, you know. So, and, and it just, it, it lifts the spirit, and it's very grounding, so we've done that. Well, that's that's almost like a, like a tantric practice practice uh, like there, I mean, and where it is, but yeah. in, you know, uh, in the sense of speaking for for the most part. No, I I've had meditation teachers come in. Um, we do, as a matter of fact, tomorrow night at seven thirty, we are having Demador Das come in. He does a kirtan, so which is sacred chanting, and and that's probably one of the most fun things that we do. So very enjoyable. Nice, nice, nice. So, um, I, I guess. Well, what are some of the other stuff that you've done out of, out of that, and um, that especially, especially stuff that has been really like like um, pronounced that allows you uh, that allows you to say, well, you know, wow, this is this is I'm glad, I'm glad I did this, and it's healing for people and so forth. Well, probably the most special thing that we do at the center, and everybody volunteers their time to do this, 
is once a month, and it's usually on the last Monday of the month, we hold a veteran's healing clinic. So any veteran or current military person is welcome to come into the center and have a free Reiki session. And we usually have um, between two to four Reiki practitioners that are in the room, and we work on one client all together. Wow. And uh, it, 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 was hard, it was hard getting veterans to do something like Reiki because they don't understand it. So what we would do is we would go to different events. Um, so in the fall, there was an event called Stand Down that the, our local VA put on. And we went in and we did like five-minute Reiki sessions for these men and women. Mostly men, but some women. And the people, we had such a good response. We, they, they booked at that day for the whole next month. And, uh, and, and so it's been going really well. And it's so fulfilling to give back to these people that gave so much to our country. Nice, nice. And so how, how long have you been doing that for? Um, we have been doing that. The one we do here in February will be our 14th one. So you're, you're in two months. So, and you've been doing it every month or just uh, every six months or so? We, nope. We do it every month. We do it every month. So what, one month, uh, one day a month, you dedicate to veterans, uh, and, and doing that, you know, and then whatever else. Yes. And then what, what, and they I, don't, they, they do not have to pay a penny. Um, I don't even ask for donations. I don't want anything. This is our thank you to them for what they did. And, you know, they, they are grateful. I hear that it helps them. I, we try to give them some tools to go home with, some breathing techniques. Um, and, and, and they come back and we're getting good feedback from these people and they're spreading the word. So they're getting to know about other healing alternative modalities that can help them. And, and our VA is very supportive. Nice, nice. And so, um, I've interviewed a, a guy by the name of Bob Aram uh, several months ago, and uh, he came out with a book on um, uh, warrior spirit. I can't remember the name, but anyhow, he um, apparently he, he had broke his back and he used uh, literally broke his back and he, he used yoga, I believe Hatha yoga, to help heal himself. And and they, you know they told him he was never going to be able to walk. He, uh, I believe he had PTSD, and so anyhow, uh, he was. He was able to heal himself, I, I believe, as, from what I understand, um, uh, of the, 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 the back stuff and, and PTSD or whatever else, um, to some extent or another. And now he teaches this, this yoga. And so I guess my, my question is, is maybe you might not, or I guess maybe it's a statement, uh, maybe you might want to consider uh, setting up um, either a specific uh, yoga program for veterans or just do a regular program and then let veterans attend for free or something like that, uh, which would uh, uh, apparently it's very helpful and useful for PTSD, the Hatha Yoga. It, 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 it is, and that is something that's in the works. One of the girls that is one of my Reiki students, she is currently getting um, certified to be a yoga instructor. And we have worked with, um, his name is Ben King from Armor Down, and he's at armordown.com. Mm -hmm. He does, he sounds like the guy you were talking to. So he has healed himself use, using yoga, mindful meditation. So we contacted him to help us reach out to veterans. So one of the other things that we did in our center is we honor fallen warriors from both the Iraqi war and the Afghanistan war. So we, we have a tree in our center that has their names on it, and they've all been mindfully honored one by one by a person in our center. So as soon as our girl gets certified, and her name is Lynn Kim, we will be instituting a yoga program for veterans as well. Yeah. 
Well, the biggest thing is they keep coming back. You know, so we know that we're doing something that they like. Um, I, I know one fella specifically came in and he said to me, he goes, you're so gentle. Well, I felt really good for days afterwards. And he said, but you're so gentle. And I, and I said, well, it's, it's energy. You don't have to be rough. He expected it to be like a chiropractic appointment. And I said, no. I said, it's, it's very, very gentle. You don't have to be rough with your body. It's all the energy. It's the intention. And, and he's like, it's amazing. He said, I get the same feeling that I get when I go to a chiropractor without all the pushing, pulling, and pumping. Um, I'll check the player and see if it's still, if it's still loaded or still working, it's still recording. And, uh, yeah, it's still recording. Okay, so, um, okay, so that, that, because that right, right now I'm, um, opening up some other pages and that might be some part of the process. So, anyhow, um, what, what other experiences or, oh, excuse, um, what other examples do you have of, a veteran where you felt like, you know, or they come back to you and say, hey, you know, uh, it, it, whatever you did, it worked, or whatever, or something like that. Right, well, well, that particular veteran was from Vietnam. Most of the fellas that come to me, believe it or not, are from the Vietnam era. So they're the older guys that, you know, they have been walking around feeling bad for... 30 years, you know, they've been carrying, you know, Vietnam with them, wherever they go. So, um, one particular gentleman, you know, he said to me, he said, you know, I, I close my eyes and I remember how I feel laying on that table and he said, I, I breathe in the healing because we always wrap them in a golden cocoon and we fill it with the Reiki energy for them. And let them know that they can breathe in that energy when they need that comfort or that centering. And and he told me, he's like, when I get in that state and I feel it, he says, I can close my eyes and I can come right back to that room that is so safe. And to me, that that's that's everything. That's huge. You know, that that I can I can instill a safeness in these men that they can take home with them and then use that when they need to. Exactly. And, and, and that is, you're absolutely correct because I know I used to have, well, my mother was married to a... Uh, Andrew, did I lose you? Oh. oh so no, no, no I, I just mute my phone because, so it won't uh, sound so, okay. so echoey. Okay. But, um, but I, I did, I had, um, I had, uh, my mother was, was married to a Vietnam War vet and we used to have nightmares and all kinds of stuff, and I think uh, I, I, I eventually, um, I think he committed suicide. That that it, he overdosed on on alcohol or something. I don't know what, but I think I think it was just him just committed suicide. And he just didn't want to do it anymore. And and that's that's very common for these men. I I had this is one of the reasons I got into this. My uncle was in Vietnam. He was my favorite uncle because we were close in age. And when he came back, he was a mess. He was an alcoholic, and, and uh, he fell through the cracks because he had a job. So he really didn't go to the VA. He fell through the cracks, and he died at 40, I think he was 46 years old. Um, and he had a heart attack. He was drinking. He was binging. And, you know, there was nobody there to help him. Nobody listened to him. So I wanted to have a center where these men could feel safe and could come and we could assist them. And I have, um, you know, I don't know that we really had anything to do with this. 
but these, there are two men that came to us, the very first one we did, which was December, um, for, for this particular group of men. And um, two of them came in in, in January and said, I have had a dream my whole life that I was at a home. These men live in housing or like like they rent a room um, or, or work. Some of them could be homeless. But two of the gentlemen that we've been seeing now actually are buying homes. And they, they signed the papers right before they got to our center. So they're like, whatever, whatever you have touched our lives, you have changed the way it's patterning. And they're, they're ever so grateful. And, and it's beautiful to watch and to listen to them. Yeah, no kidding, isn't it? Um, and, and, and there's lots of other similar stories that are of, of men that are involved, people that are involved in the same path. Both, um, you know, they, 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 you know, they've been living with the, this nightmare, uh, I believe it's safe to call it that, for years, and, um, it is. um, and they still haven't been able to overcome any of it because they haven't found the right tools or whatever. So, um, right. And then the younger men, um, I, I keep hearing from the younger men, well, I, I don't want you to break because, you know, this is a little too woo-woo for me. And, um, and I know this is the way they're, they're taught to feel. So, and I think the, the Vietnam men, it's just so much time has elapsed that now they're, they're soft or just because of their age, they've experienced so much more. So I am hoping that the older guys can break through to some of the younger guys so that we can nip it in the bud, so that they don't have to leave, live the next thirty years before they seek something. Else. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Um, I hear you. Um, go, go ahead. Uh, well, then that's what we do. That's what we do for the veterans. And then the the other group of people that we found were really in need were women. So probably the vast majority of people that come to my center are women. And what we learned was women really need a place to come together, a safe place where they can learn, where they can share, where they can just be themselves without any judgment and, and, and know that they're safe in, in speaking their truth and finding their voice. So we have created, um, actually in only a photo taught the class, Women's Empowerment, it has now morphed into bigger than that. And, um, and it's, we have a place where women can come and, and, you know, be comfortable and be themselves. Got it, got it. Uh, and, so, so and that's a part of the, the, you know, we do the belly dancing and so we're trying to do fun things to, you know, get them together. Oh, nice, nice. So, uh, so you have a whole program, not just one class, but a whole um, curriculum uh, designed to to help be supportive of women, just in any of themselves. We do. We right now we're meeting monthly, and we are working on a program where we're going to meet at a different day, so that we're then meeting twice a month. And what we are doing is we are putting a red tent together for these women. So, very, very exciting. You know, that's kind of funny because um, I guess about three years ago, I can't remember, I, I interviewed a woman, uh, Jasmine Starchild, um, about a, 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 a program that she does, or I don't know if she's still doing it or not, but called the Red Tent. And uh, we talked about her... Um, how she would menstruate uh, and, and, and then offer the menstruation back to the earth and literally bury it back into the earth so that it, it could help empower the earth again. And, and it was interesting because when I watched the video initially before I ever talked to her, I can literally feel the energy of all that, that transition, that, that, uh, um, that whole transaction, if you want to call it that. But I can literally feel the energy, uh, and it was very powerful. I was just blown away, and I go, oh, "Well, I got to bring her on," and, and that's when I decided I was going to bring her on. And, and, and well, and and that's the program that we're going to follow. Um, most of us that are in the planning stage 
are in the greater mother stage. So we're a little beyond that. But we want to bring the younger women, our daughters, our granddaughters into this so that they are brought up knowing that women are important and women are powerful. And when women get together in circle, they can change the world. Well, also one of those, um, the last few girlfriends that I've had have all been psychic. And the thing is, whenever they would menstruate, <laughs> the psychic ability was even more powerful. Now, about two or three days before they menstruate, I would know because all of a sudden there's all this psychic energy would be coming through and it would just like be overpowering. And I go, yeah, you got ready to menstruate because whatever's going on, but all this stuff is coming through and it, it's like, and you know, it's like, it's like overwhelming. So, um, so I had to run to the rest to, to those energies, um, you know, on a, a month, monthly regular basis. Yep, it's very, very powerful. Yeah. And and we weren't we weren't taught that as children. Not not people of my age. Exactly. It's something to be ashamed of and, you know, don't talk about it and you know we didn't learn we didn't learn in a healthy way. So it's it's now we're changing that. We're going to teach in a healthier way. And and that's good. That's really good. So now what I wanna do is go ahead and play some music. Um I wanna play Jaya Jaya Janani by um Manga La Nanda um from his album um uh, Bo um Bahu Ma and um what I want to do is send out some love blessed to see these angels of light love to all the mothers, to all the women out there on the planet, to all the little girls, to all the females on the planet. And even even the the, the transgenders out there that that are men and believe they're women. And uh as well as well as to um all the animals, plants, and the, and, and the minerals on the planet, especially the ones in concern. Of course, to the President of the United States and to all those running for office, and, and to all their wives, to all their kids, to all their families as well. And I want, I want to send out love, blessings, healings, and angels of light and love to, um, to, of course, to you, uh, Kathy, and your, your family, to your healing center, and uh, all its staff and personnel and families and people that, that support it. Um, <clears throat> to all those that support Spiritual Image Productions as well, and Andrew Aloha. Thank you. Um, and, uh, anybody, anybody want to add to that? Kathy? No, I, I just, just the world, um, the world, the planet Earth needs our healing, our okay. waters, our Earth, our plants. Exactly. Um, yeah. To everyone else in need and concern, we will be back. Jaya Jaya Janani by Mangalananda uh, from his album uh, Bahu uh, Ma. Um, so, uh, you know, and then we will be back talking to Kathy uh, from the Human Learning Center out of New York. And, uh, and then we're going to also do a reading. Uh, I've already come up with some interesting stuff. I've, I've, I've just put together your charts and um, I'm going to do a spread on it. And, and um, I've already, you know, I've come in to see some stuff, so we'll see what happens. So, you know, we'll be back.
महाकाली माता भवानी माता महाकाली महाकाली Thank <laughs> you. 
And we're back. This is Andrew Loha live out of Flagstaff, Arizona. We switch on these productions and block talk radio and excuse me, now Houston. Uh, we're establishing and maintaining right relationships through Human Valley. Uh, tonight we're doing the Golden Age Psychic Travel Show. Uh, um, we're learning about the Healing and Learning Center and Metaphysical Bookstore gift shop out of New York. <coughs> uh, um, out of Elvira, I mean Elmira, New York there now. And, and then, um, we're talking here with Kathy Favada Houghton, RMP. Um, we've been talking about how she grew up and she had some um, some illnesses, some um, difficulties with some illnesses, and and she did. She worked. She was in the workforce. She was a manager. Um, a manager, is that correct? I was an office manager. Yeah. The office manager, and for years, and um, then discovered she had some some illnesses, and and she she went to talk to regular practitioners, and <clears throat> so that, you know the traditional doctor. And then, um, and then finally she went to the non-traditional doctor and, uh, she discovered Reiki and she was able to utilize Reiki to help heal her along with a change of diet and, and she learned that she was allergic to certain foods that were causing her the, the, some of the problems and so forth. And so, um, so she decided to open up the healing center and, um, um, so she did, she did, she opened up the healing center. And, uh, which uh, does a special programming for women. It also has special program for veterans as well. And of course, you know, reg regular, um, um, uh, guests are, you know, uh, other guests are, are welcome as well. I'm assuming, I'm sure of it. But, um, <clears throat> so, you know, um, now, now what's going on with your, with your, you know, your, your human center, uh, Kathy? What, what, what's going on with it? And we're, we're, uh, we've got a few more, more minutes left. left. Um, where where are you going with it now? What what what's your direction? What's your future for it? <coughs> Go ahead. Well, the, it, it, is, it is certainly growing right now. We we are adding meditations to our schedules. We do drumming meditations. We do um, just regular sitting meditations. Um, we teach people how to make natural products. Yes. Oil. Um, but when when after I teach people Reiki, we have what we call a Reiki share. So what we've learned is all of us healers, we give and we give, but we never receive. So that is a night when practitioners can come in, and each practitioner receives a session, and then everybody shares in giving a session. So we try to do those twice a month. Um, so, so it's all about healing in different ways. We do full moon meditation. During that, we um, we do loving kindness to ourselves, and you know, and then we you know give to each other and spread it out, you know, through the building and then you know into the neighborhood. And before it's done, we have encompassed the whole world, um, sending love to compassion. <coughs> so we're we're growing by. You know, the people that are coming, they're talking to more people, and, and, and it is just growing by leaps and bounds um, because there's good vibrations. 
I have this, there's this one very special young man that walked past our building, and one day he stopped me, and he goes, is this a church? He said, it feels like a church, and my building does not look like a church at all. Mm -hmm. But he could feel the energy from the sidewalk of what we were doing, and he's, he's a regular now. He comes in, and he'll have a cup of tea, or he'll grab a little piece of chocolate, and chat a little bit, and then go on his way. Um, very, very nice young man. So we're making a difference in the community, too. Um, we had a gentleman that lived down the street a little bit for us. He came over and he said, he said, is somebody over here drumming? And I'm like, oh, my gosh, is it bothering you? And he goes, no, we love it. So, <laughs> so the, neighborhood, the neighborhood is becoming us completely. Um, so it, it really is, it, it's just a good thing for our little area. I got it, got it. So that's interesting um, that people um, have, uh, and um, I, I'm, 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 I'm looking at your chart as you're saying all this, and it, it kind of makes sense in terms of what, what, what everything is going on. But, uh, it's kind of like, kind of like, um, what I'm, I'm seeing in your chart for, for the, the, the business and yourself, it, it all, um, Literally, you're, you're like confirming everything that I'm seeing in your chart, so that's kind of funny. But anyhow, you know, um, do you, let me ask you this, do you have any kind of kids program that you're working with at all? Um, I have done one children's Reiki class. I had a young girl that is a natural healer, and she was having pain while she was healing. So her mother wanted her to learn Reiki because it is so protecting. Um, Reiki is a one-way flow, so this, you would never take on somebody else's stuff like an empath would do. So Reiki just comes in your crown, to your heart, and out your hands, the one-way flow. And um, it, it's the only class I've done so far. Um, I, I sat down and I, I went to rewrite my book for children and realized that, you know, I, I didn't have to, it was already written for them. You know, I took out the practitioner stuff, but the same information, the same way I teach it to adults, I taught it to them. The only thing I added for the children was I added, you know, instead of um, talking about, you know, their experiences, I had them draw their experiences. So I added some coloring and some activities for them to do. Yeah. So that's something that is new. And I'm and I'm working on building more of those classes. Now, what about um, do you have stuff for entertainers for people that are um, uh, do either teachers that are working with children or, or or entertainers that are working with children or just entertainers that sing or or play music or something like that? Well, we have um, as I said, we have Damador Dawson friends. He will be at our center tomorrow night, and we do chanting there. So he is a musician. Um, he he comes in with a harmonium and his guitar, and his nine-year-old son plays the violin, and then he brings a flutist with him and a drummer. So you know, we we, we do have some entertainment like that. Um, he's the only musician that comes in. Then we do the uh, the drum circles and we do drum uh, meditation. Is it, it wouldn't surprise me if more and more kids started working with your center or you know working around your center, um, and also entertainers and teachers. Uh, again, teachers that work with kids. Uh, I kid you not. Okay. So those are the other people that you might want to consider uh, uh, working with as well. Um, um, okay. Let me see, um, and I guess I'm, I'm just going to go into into this astrology reading, um, as, since I'm already in, in there. Um, and, and, and again, since I've done these shows uh, at the get-go, um, initially I, I, I was talking, some, this guy wanted to bring me into his network and, uh, and, and do shows on his network, and, um, and he wanted me to create a new show. And so I did, and, and this was the show that I created, and then he wanted me to pay all his ungodly money to, to be on his network, in his network, and, and I just didn't want to do that, so, so anyhow, uh, well, I'll tell you what, we have a, 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 a caller, do you want to ask a question, um, I love how Erico 202 is on the air, <coughs> hello, huh, Erico 202, you're on the air. 
So I don't know. Um, then, yeah, maybe they're doing something else. But anyhow, <coughs> um, so I created this show, and since I've created this show at the get go, um, there has been a pattern, an astrological pattern that has come through um, for every every show that I've done, uh, except for one. Um, and even and but even that confirmed. I, I mean, that pattern has been confirmed 100 percent. So the, this this whole thing that I'm doing is, is literally 100 percent uh, confirmed in terms of what I'm doing is with this pattern. And so the the pattern didn't uh, didn't uh, wasn't uh, coming uh, wasn't um, how would you say uh, supporting the the business and and the manager. And since then, that business is closed down. So it's still 100 proof. This this whole system is still 100 percent proof. So anyhow, um, what I've discovered is is um, the your north node um, uh, in both your personality chart and the, and the, I do two different types of charts. One is a personality chart the day you come out of the room. The the second chart is uh, and, and that that and in that particular chart, most people outgrow the the um, outgrow it between the ages 18 to 25. Then they go through a plateau and literally they start living out. I've discovered their true life purpose stuff around the ages of 28, 29 years old, and then they go and uh, they start, you know, they they literally uh, do that for for a period of years, uh, 10, 15 years or whatever, and then things start to slow down and they start shifting years. So anyhow, uh, the other uh, chart that I, I do is, is a soul purpose chart, um, and uh, that's the day that the soul comes in, connects with the fetus, which is about three to four weeks after the day of conception, and so. Um, I, I, I've done I, I've done a soul chart on yourself, uh, Kathy, and then I, I put together the the chart for the healing and learning center, which is uh, the, the date that you gave me was eight December uh, two thousand fourteen, and some very significant stuff has come out of this so far. Um, the north, north node for <coughs> all your chart for all your, all the charts are the same. They're all in Libra, with the difference, the exception that your soul chart. Um, uh, is it, the the north node is in Libra retrograde, and but also the soul chart for your, for for the healing center is also Libra retrograde, which tells me that this healing center is literally an extension of your soul of your soul of your soul, soul chart stuff. This is a, something that your soul has come brought about to help people on a deeper level. Rather than just you know uh, on an ego level or, or uh, egotistical level or, or, or whatever, uh, many centers may may cater to the ego and they'll make money off of that. But but they don't, they only put a band aid on what needs to be done on the healing that really needs to be take place. So um, the uh, the stuff that you're doing, Kathy, it's safe to say uh, I'm I'm urged to say that that it, it's it's really really deep. See the healing that we're talking about. Does that make sense to you? That's beautiful. Thank you for confirming that. So, and, and like uh, the, the thing with the women, uh, you know, you're not you're not just you know helping support women and 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 giving and doing some kind of a you know a, a, a ego stroke type of thing. You're literally really helping women uh, on a deeper level, on a, a soul, on a cellular level, on a soul level. That that's m much more useful to them and meaningful than than not. So for 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 them to go there and waste their time is not going to be even a question. For them to go there and really serve their time is actually a much better phrase that that, that can be uh, associated with you and them and the healing center. That's what I'm I'm picking up with with, with this chart. And uh, <clears throat> and now Libra, go ahead. So, no, I was just saying thank you. I mean, this is beautiful. That's it's everything I hoped for. So, and the, and the, and and, you, and you're right on target. You're right right in there. Um, now, Libra, on the other hand, is a very uh, it's it, it's um the energy of balancing structure. It's meant to balance. It's it's usually associated with law enforcement, also teachers, and also a mentoring uh, mentoring coaches or coaches. So, um. Literally, <clears throat> that's another uh, uh, a direction that you might want to look at is is structuring a mentoring program, a, co a coaching program that will be even uh, uh, be more supportive and more um, um, deeper rooted and more extended, extensive, uh, so that you can uh, into 
to uh, to you know people in other states and other countries and not just local. Does that make sense to you? It, it does, and, and we can do distant healing, so we can reach further. <laughs> and uh, now the other thing that's coming through that I'm picking up on is Scorpio energy. Um, let me see. You, your, your, your Jupiter is in Scorpio, and your personal chart. Your Jupiter is in Scorpio, and um, in your soul chart, and then your Saturn is in Scorpio, uh, in in the the in the business with the healing center. And so that tells me that um, e even though uh, the, the fears of the business are to are to emote. To literally to show emotion, uh, to show passion. So uh, the dance is actually very instrumental, very good for you, for the healing center, and not just for you personally, and the, and the women there personally, the people there personally. It's actually very, very healing uh, for all of you to, uh, to help overcome. Uh, and, and, and what that's doing is helping you, all of you, literally as a whole, have a fear um, um, uh, uh, from, from what I'm seeing. Uh, to express yourself, uh, um, uh, to express your passions, and and that it's very important for you guys to to face those fears, overcome them, and move forward because that's what's going to allow you to to really tap into your soul, soul level stuff, uh, cellular level stuff that will be uh, much more useful and healing for not only yourselves and, and each other and and the whole as a group, uh, but also for those around you and those that you encounter as well. So it's very very important that you continue to. The dancing and the drumming and so forth that will allow you to do that. Okay. The other thing you might want to tap into that will be helpful is, is tantra. Maybe bring in some tantra uh, set, um, practitioners that might be do some sessions there or some workshops there or something that will help you even deepen that bit further. And also the hatha. We talked about the hatha yoga, and you're already working on that. That that's actually a, a really good foundation for tantra as well. But um, but even that by itself is helpful and useful. Uh, and definitely in the right direction, no matter what. So I, I definitely do uh, work on doing the, the Hatha Yoga, getting some really um, intense uh, Hatha Yoga programs going there, uh, and expanding those as well. So now, um, and earlier we talked about kids uh, and and the entertainment industry and teachers that teach kids. Um, so um, your um, healing center is actually is is healing for those those groups. For kids, uh, um, it could actually be more healing. The, uh, the Jupiter is in real retrograde, which means it, it's really healing for kids, for people in the inter entertainment industry, especially singers and then also teachers that teach kids. Uh, um, but with the retrograde, it, it's not as, as healing as that could be, but it, it's enough that it can make a difference regardless. And then, and then now in your chart, your personal personality chart, your son is in Leo, your Uranus is in Leo, Uranus is, uh, and, and your soul chart, your Uranus is, is in Leo as well, which tells me that, that, um, that you, uh, coming through by, by yourself, uh, as, as an individual, Kathy, are very healing for, for these, for, for these groups. Uh, at the healing center, if you're, if you were to do a program, a class for kids, uh, and, and for teachers and for singers, you would you know, you 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 would be very instrumental, even though you have this kind of kind of uh, either resentment or or, or some kind of uh, of, of um, I don't know what the what's the word to say. Um, you have some kind of of, of um, um, opposition to working with kids and, and seniors and and teachers that teach kids. That that's actually a, um, a like like a pet peeve of yours in a way. Uh, but, but, so as long as you, you put that to the side and, and, and just tap into your inner self, which is you, your sun sign is a Leo, you're, a, um, innately a Leo person anyhow, um, then, then, then you can actually be very healing and very instrumental in helping kids and te teachers that kids, teach kids and singers heal at the center. Does that make sense to you? It, it does. It does. Okay. Um, now, um, there's one other thing that's coming through, and let me see, Capricorn, Capricorn, now, um, 
this healing center in the years to come, and this is something that you're going to want to really, really think about and, and, and remember, is that in the years to come, all of the kids that are being born right now since, um, what was it, uh, January 2008, and the kids that are being born now, since that, uh, uh, and the kids that are going to be born, uh, I think, I can't remember, for the next few years, let me, let me see this real quick. Capricorn, what's it? What's the Capricorn right now? Oh, Pluto, that's right. Okay, uh, all the kids that are going to be from that are going to uh, that are being born from January 2008 to, through uh, uh, March 2024, this healing center is literally for them. Uh, believe it or not, um, in the years to come, it's going to be a center that will be very useful for the kids that are being born right now and have, have been born since then and will be born until March 2004. Wow. So th this is healing center is literally uh, much, much more uh, than, than you think it might be. Um, and, and it's a, a much more long term than you think it might be, believe it or not. So it, it, it's, um, it's, um, it's going to help them. Uh, and you personally are going to be working with helping them overcome their fears. of Because uh, um, these kids, wow, um, a lot of these kids are, 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 are risk takers, like huge, like, like no tomorrow. I mean, the, you know, the, when was it, um, a few weeks ago, some, some guy I, I, was, I was talking to, they were on this little, like, um, I don't know, like this little thing, like a skateboard on, on, on wheels, and it could move around, swivel around, and all kinds of stuff. I, I don't remember what it's called. I, I go, hey, let me try that. And he goes, okay. So he's, he's, Luckily, he was hanging out in my arm because, man, I jumped out of that thing. I said, oh, and I almost fell over. I said, then he caught me, and I was able to get up, you know, not fall over. But, the, I mean, that thing is, like, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty slick, if you ask me. But it reminds me of, the, um, and I don't know if they had it in that uh, show, that movie called Back to the Future. Do you remember that movie at all? I, I remember the hoverboard. I don't know if it was kind of like that, but but what, but that's what these kids are that are being born are are are, are used to. Uh, they're used to doing stuff stuff like that, working with uh, you know using uh, uh, tools like that, or um, you know just stuff. You know, I don't know what they call their their um, their uh, their toys. Uh, they are like that. I mean, the stuff that, that they're going to be doing are just like miraculous compared to. What we've been doing, uh, you know, a uh, regular skateboard. Now, now it's flying, and now you can, you know, do circles with it upside down, inside out, and whatever else. So, you know, and and to them, that's just natural stuff. To us, it's like, oh, oh man, I'm I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna fall on my butt. Watch out, no, okay, I'm not even gonna bother for you. We don't want to even jump on those things because because we're just falling on our butt. But these kids, they're just like their their bodies and their their, their perceptions, their their equilibrium, their, I mean, all, all their senses are just much more different than ours, and so they can do this stuff so much more easier, and they, they don't even think about it. They just jump on and take off, and they're gone, and that's it. That's like that. So, um, um, th this, this is going to uh, teach these ki kids, to, uh, uh, this healing center is going to be useful for these kids to, to really, really be able to go even deeper with some of the stuff they're already doing, and the stuff they're already, they're already doing is pretty amazing, you know. So anyhow, um, yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, the, oh, there's one other thing. Uh, Aquarius. This, this, okay. The healing and learning center. Its motivation is to be a social body. So literally, um, the more social stuff that you can involve yourself, the the healing and learning center. In, the more it's going to be, uh, it's going to just take off and just and just really uh, uh, unfold. You'll you'll be surprised. Uh, and it, 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 anything that you can involve involve the the healing learning center uh, with, with, uh, in the terms of, of social uh, stuff in the community, in the city, or or in the state or whatever, you're going to see it's going to unfold and things are going to open up even more and like bigger and and just more. Just and people are just going to be um, really, really. Um, you know, you, you, you'll be the 
the talk of the town, you know, it'll be like that. And um, you, uh, you, uh, you put on your soul level, your soul, um, is, your Venus is in Aquarius as well, as well. so this is actually a, a way for your soul to socialize, believe it or not. Um, uh, so it, it, it's actually not only useful for, uh, for it, it to socialize, but it's also a, a way for you to uh, establish and maintain relationships on a social level that you may have not, I haven't even thought about yet. So, um, and probably, I mean, okay. some, some of the stuff that you've already come brought in, you would never have thought about otherwise if you didn't have the, the, the center to begin with. So, um, does that make sense to you? It, it does. Okay. Um, now, one of the things... And, and I'm, already, I'm already seeing some of this stuff come to fruition as we're doing local events. Good, good. good. And so, now, yeah. one other thing that uh, this center can really be useful for. It's Sun sign is in Sagittarius, it's Mercury is in Sagittarius, it's Venus is in Sagittarius. One of the things that you're going to want to do is bring in comedians to your center. Believe it or not. Okay. I, 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 I can't even stress it enough. Uh, like once every six months or even once a month if you want, but uh, you know once a six months or once a year or whatever, Bring in a comedian because you're you're going to find that things uh will, will shift. Laughter is, is is such a really good healing therapy for people, and um and the center um it is it, uh, the the center is a good comedian in and of itself to begin with. It it uh it's a uh, the center itself is 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 a, a healer, a doctor, uh, a good massage. Do you have massage therapy going on there as well? We don't. I am advertising for one as we speak. Yeah, and you're going to want to get bringing in uh, uh, some massage, uh, massage stuff going on regularly there. Yeah. Uh, because that healing and learning center, it, 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 it's a good massage, believe, a masseuse. Believe it or not, you're, the healing center yeah. is a good masseuse, it's a good doctor, it's a good a comedian, uh, it's a good business person too. So uh, you, you're going to really, really want to, want to uh, um, work, you know, uh, expand its, its level. Uh, it's, 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 um, skills on that level. And it's also emotionally a really good mother, a nurturer. So the, and, 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 the, and a really good example of that is, is again, the thing with the women, the thing with the veterans, you know, it's all, that's also, that's a really good example of that in terms of what, it, of what your, the capabilities of your center are, period. So you're really on target with all that. Really good so far. Uh, but, but there's more. Hey, thank you for the confirmation. Yeah, there's more. There's more and, and a lot more. And, uh, and it's, 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 from what I see, it's going to be around for years to come. So, so, uh, there's no, no sense in thinking about uh, closing doors because I think you, you, you haven't, you haven't dug in enough yet. There's still a lot more for you to do there, a lot more for it to do. And so, uh, just, just keep working with it and I think you'll be fine. And, and what you might want to do is talk to, talk to it. Um, in fact, we can't even do that now. We have enough time. Um, uh, are you okay that, with that? Do you want to do that? Sure. Okay, President Spirit of, and, uh, uh, President Spirit, uh, of the Healing and Learning Center and Metaphysical Gift Shop. Uh, please come forth and come forward now. Oh, really? Interesting. Uh, and thank you for being here. It's a female. This, this, the spirit is a, is a feminine energy. She's a blonde. Um, I don't know. If she's, it looks like she's got brown or green eyes. She's a very beautiful. She's young. She's not. She's like like in her early uh, like early twenties or something. Maybe, maybe mid twenties or something. But like right in her twenties. Um, she's a young spirit, and but she's full of life and uh, all kinds of, and life and, and all kinds of energy. So you can really, really uh, work with her, and she, she'll never get tired. She'll, you, you can, you can go and work with her 24 7 365 and she'll be fine. She won't even miss a breath. breath. I mean, so. so anyhow, um, Great. and she, and she has like this purple cape on or something. I don't know. Um, aloha. Um, uh, so is there anything you want to ask her right now? Wait, hang on a sec. Sienna. Sienna is your name. Um, I, I, to me, uh, from what I'm hearing, she said her name is Sienna. You might want to write that, that down. Uh, that's what I understand. Sienna? 
No, Sienna. Uh, uh, I believe with an S. S I E N N A. Sienna. Yeah. S I uh, S I E uh, Sienna. Uh, yeah, Sienna. Uh, S I E N N A. Sienna. Um, email. Uh, is there anything that you want to ask her right now? Not really. You have confirmed that I am on the right path, and, and it's very exciting to me. Um, is there anything else that I should be doing? She nods her head yes. Uh, is there anything that you would like to reveal or uh, communicate to uh, Kathy right now, Fiona? Oh, a garden? She wants a garden. Do you, do you, do you oh, my yeah, we, we're planning a garden. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, she really wants a garden. Yay. Okay. Flowers, flowers, good. flowers, flowers, flowers. Anything else, Anna? Oh, she said that's it. That's, that's what, what she really, really needs and wants is a garden. Beautiful. Beautiful. She will have her garden this summer. <laughs> oh, good, good. So now what I've done is, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, um, she and I found it. Um, so, thank you for being here, and I will ask Kathy to talk to you regularly um, um, on, on, you know, either daily, weekly basis, whatever, and then hopefully you guys can connect and, and, and go forward. Yeah. Thank you. Namaste. So, um, so, what you want to do, uh, Kathy, on a regular basis, either every day um, or whatever week, just have a conversation with Sienna. Ask her to come in. Fiona, can you please come over and talk to me? Uh, and thank you for being here. And, um, and blah, 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 blah. Um, and, you know, you know, can you help me with this? Or what, would you, what do you think about this? Or how would you like to do this? Brought me up. Uh, I really appreciate you and um, appreciate your love and, and your kindness and your, and your service and whatever. Blah, 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 blah. But it's like that. But you have a regular conversation. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Time. So you, you're going to want to do, and, and, and as you do that, and you can even ask her to inspire you or, you or, or to submit to you uh, ideas and stuff through, through the dream state so you can uh, understand it uh, consciously and so that you can be able to um, uh, remember that and then, uh, um, and what, you know, and either apply those ideas or, or work with those ideas or whatever. Does that, does that make sense to you? That's a great, great idea. Okay, yeah, I would, I would definitely recommend that. Um, and, and that way, again, and the more you bring her into the picture, and how, and with the, the planning and of, uh, and, and the execution of all the stuff that you guys do, the implementation of all the stuff that you guys do, the more successful uh, all of you will be uh, as a whole. You know, and and that's what you want to do. You want to tap into the other side and and, and uh, cultivate it and and integrate it and, and move forward with it and and, and, uh, and implement it as a whole, as, as a group. So, um, and I, I can almost guarantee you the, the amount of success you'll have and that uh, will be amazing for you guys, for sure. So, um, now, um, I, we, we have about five minutes left. I, one other thing that I've done is that I've done a spread on, on your, um, on, on your play, on you guys. And, um, from what I've seen so far, um, let me see, there was some kind of temporary seclusion or abandonment uh, in the last several months, is that correct? Like separation or, or um, some kind of, um, uh, you know, you guys took a step back to, to regroup or something like that, is that, is that correct? For, for the business, personally? Yes. And, and, uh, um, and, and maybe all of you guys put together, but, but you know, uh, this is, I think this applies to you and the business and uh, whoever else. We're trying to regroup and get a focus in this new year. So, yeah, probably. Okay. So, um, and, and seems to be like things that you've been working, trying, haven't been working, it's been frustrating. And but um and it um and it, and it it's caused you to be uh, doubtful maybe to some extent but but it, it, it's not causing you to throw throw in the hat and 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 uh, give up is that correct? 
That is correct. We're, we just changed focus. Okay, good. Um, so now what's going on? <coughs> um, you're applying practical knowledge. You're working with business uh, skills and um, you're taking uh, new steps to uh, bring in and, and export business. Um, Uh, but but uh, the, the knowledge that you're bringing in, even though it's, it's practical, it may not be as deep as you need it to be. Is that, is, does that make sense to you? It, it, it does. Um, we're trying to get deeper. We're, we're, it's, it's like we're peeling the onion back. Got it, got it. So, um, okay. So okay, so so based, uh, you're, you're adjusting. You're still adjusting. You're going through some transformation and transcendence. You're uh, adjusting with uh, some of the stuff that you're working with. Um, let me see. Uh, but 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 there's there's going to be a person. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I know. Is it? All right. Um, well, first of all, um, as I'm looking this up, um, have you ever heard of a guy by the name of David Young? No. He's actually there in your area, your neck of the woods. Um, I would get a hold of him, or uh, uh, and 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 just say, hey, Andrew, hello. Um, Recommend him talk to you and we will and, and see if you can have him come out and do some of his meditation um, things over there at your place. Maybe uh, maybe uh, okay. just do one for now and see how you like it. And if you like it, then you can come back and have him do some more stuff. But um, okay, uh, he he literally uh, channels um, John Lennon and George Harrison. Believe it or not. Oh, and that some, was Yeah, some of the music that she does, um, it literally is, is, is in collaboration with John Lennon and George Harrison. So I, I would uh, recommend that you, that you go with that, go with that. Um, so anyhow, um, you, you, uh, you're going to be having some guy, some, some, um, some guy coming in, high, highly analytical person, uh, authoritative, uh, uh, proficient in, in their field. They're, they're going to be coming in. He's like a king of swords. He's the king of swords. He's going to be coming in and working with you. Uh, that person has a lot of ideas and designs that she might be able to utilize and work with that might be useful and beneficial to you. So, you know, um, okay. in the meantime, um, you, you, you still things are, are you, you're still going to want to work with, with uh, keep working with ideas and don't give up. Um, and even though things, um, don't uh, seem to be uh, working out. Um, I tell you what, um, I can't. Re I can't remember when Swords is. Uh, I think it's the fall or winter. <laughs> you know, stuff is going to be coming through uh, uh, during the period of time of uh, Swords. I'll, I'll look that up here in a little bit uh, afterwards. So stay on the line, and, and I'll talk to you a little bit more, and we'll go from there. But yeah, I want to thank all of you uh, for stopping by. Thank you, Kathy, for sharing your, your, your center with us. Have a God goddess weekend. Be the love that you are. Always have been and always will be. Aloha. Namaste. Thank you.